hard for me to say yes. It's easier for me to say next year when the weather's fine, when I have the money or the time or the relationship I want or the career or the house or the car or the watch. Watch life pass me by waiting for an invitation when the world is greater than my nation or my occupation. The only thing I know is that we're all in this together. And the future of this earth depends on how we treat each other. But how we treat each other starts with how we treat ourselves. And how we treat ourselves starts with how we see ourselves. And how we see ourselves starts with context. Nothing can exist without its opposite. Remember this, the next time you find her in an argument and both sides are talking sh and you forget your point except you're angry now and want to win. So you continue yelling till they give it up by giving in so you can stand victorious because you're right on what again? That's why we send young people to war. Young people tend to die without asking what for. But one man's ceiling is another man's floor. Let's meet up in between, said the ocean to the shore. Hopelessly inquisitive, a mind without a master. I watched the master on a tab of acid, then performed after, and yet my set was an unparalleled disaster because all my poems came out as... <laughs> do you laugh on instinct or do you choose to laugh? Do you ask because you care or do you merely ask? I ask you this because I care about how humans act. We're animals, aware of our future and our past, and this can be an obstacle to traveling our path. Instead of just accepting where we're at, we analyze our tracks for what we could have had. Looking back, focused on the memories instead of on the facts, hence what we attract. But it's hard to factor in how fast it really flashes past. It's an exponential graph from creation into ash. I'm sentimental one minute, then I'm making plans, staking claims, shaking hands, breaking out or breaking in. I have about a billion mimes hidden underneath my skin. And they push my face into this grin or pull my wrinkled forehead in. So pour the gin, philosophize, because no one has your awesome eyes. Your view is worth the lows and highs we go through on these coaster rides. Control has got us holding on when letting go could be more fun. Hands up. Everybody put your hands up. And I feel the drop. And shake it out. Eventually, this all has to stop. Level out, then come back up until we reach the very top, because one day all your wheels fall off. So take advantage of your shocks. Do something you've never done. Do someone you've never done. <laughs> Go someplace you've never gone. Some place that will scare you some. Be someone you've never been. You feel all that adrenaline? It's medicine to jumpstart the spark inside your skeleton. See, everywhere you are is where you're supposed to be. So hopefully you're hopelessly as lost as me. Because if you're not, you ought to be. Welcome to TEDx Hollywood.